Hello everyone, what's up? My name's Alex from Bunnyblog, and today I've got some mail. So recently in the mail, I got a coupon for a website called Chewy.com, and typically Chewy.com is for cats and dogs, but they do have some rabbit stuff. And one of the things that I was in the market for was an exercise pen so that I could take my two boys outside. So I decided to use this coupon that I had for $15 off on an order of $50 or more to order an exercise pen. And of course, I had to get it up to $50. Uh, the exercise pen was about $32, which meant if I spent another $3, everything after that would be free, including free one to two day shipping. So I thought it was pretty dang cool, and I just had to do it because I needed an exercise pen anyway. So I got my box in the mail today. I actually got two boxes um, because this one contained everything except the exercise pen, and then the exercise pen came in a separate box. So I want to show all of that to you today. But first, uh, let me get the exercise pen. Now this is the smallest exercise pen that they offer. This pen is 24 inches tall, and each of the panels are 24 inches long, which means they're 24 inch square. Uh, there are eight panels, so it's about let's see, two feet for each panel, 16 foot around if you put it in kind of an octagonal circle kind of thing, uh, then of course you can make it a square or something like that. This thing has one door and there are two latches on the doors. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's all uh, folded up and stuff, but <laughs> my room's kind of small so I can't exactly like get it out and set it up here. Video's coming up in the future. I should be able to take the bunnies outside and then put them in this so that they can eat some grass and stuff like that. So this will also be useful if I'm uh, trying to keep them away from things. Like in my room, I can put it in front of my computer so they don't get back there and chew those cables. Or I could take it down to the living room and put, set it up there so that they can run around and play and stuff without having a, in a neutral environment when I go to bond them. All right. So let's move on to the other stuff that came with the exercise pen, which I basically got for free because of this coupon. Now, I usually get my hay from a local farm store or from a local farmer. Unfortunately, because we're kind of at the beginning of the season, it's really hard to find good hay. Um, so I didn't want to buy a bunch of hay online because it's expensive. Uh, typically, they come in very small bags and you go through that so quickly with two rabbits. Uh, but I could not find a couple different types of hay anywhere around me. So I used a lot of my free stuff to get a couple bags of hay. The first one is Oxbow Orchard Grass Hay. Um, I like orchard grass. I used to give orchard grass all the time. Um, it's a softer grass. Oxbow provides this neat little graph right here to show you where along this scale this hay is in terms of taste and in terms of toughness. So with this orchard grass, um, it is one away from being sweet and one away from being soft. One of the reasons that I wanted orchard grass was because Philip's getting older and I'm having a hard time getting him to eat the regular meadow blend hay that I get real cheap from local farmers. Um, so I got some orchard grass because I knew it is softer and maybe that'll help encourage him to get back into eating more hay. The other hay that I got was something that I've never tried, um, but I've heard about it. So I figured I would try it. This is also made by Oxbow and this is oat hay. And oat hay is almost exactly uh, the opposite of the orchard grass. It is complete or almost one away from being hearty instead of sweet and all the way to the crunchy side of the hay spectrum. I think that the oat hay is something that Tucker will really enjoy uh, because he really likes crunching loudly. And maybe it's because he wants to annoy me, but uh, he, he crunches very loudly and I think he'll enjoy this. And then the last thing that I got, actually it's the second to last thing. There's another thing, but that has kind of a funny story. So I'll tell you that in just a minute. But the last thing that I got is a brush. 
And this is a cat slicker brush with a uh, little rubber or, or plastic protective tips on the end of the wires. It's not very strong or, or tough. It's a very soft brush. Um, so it's difficult to brush my rabbits because both of them have really fine fur and they don't exactly have a lot of it. Um, Tucker has more than Philip, but still in both cases, a regular flea comb or a comb doesn't really pull out much fur, and so it's not very good for when they're shedding. So I got this brush, which let's see if I can show you a little bit better. It has some longer bristles, which comb all the way down to the bottom hair, and then if you can see, it also has some thin black bristles that surround each of those white bristles, and that'll really help to get out a lot of the fur that is kind of trapped in their fur. So after ordering those five items, the exercise pen, the two bags of hay, and the brush, I ended up being about 50 cents short from $50. So if I didn't make it another 50 cents, then I wouldn't get free shipping and I wouldn't be able to use my $15 off coupon. Uh, so I kind of searched for the cheapest thing that I could find on the site. And what I found is something that is probably just going to end up in my trash can. Um, it's a dog chew stick and it was like 62 cents. <laughs> it's a beef gullet bully stick chew for dogs. Um, I probably wouldn't give this to my dog. I don't, I don't know how I feel about treats like this, but it was the cheapest thing on the site and it brought me up to the $50 so that I could get a whole bunch of cool free stuff, I guess. I, I keep calling it free. It, I did have to spend $35 to get all of that stuff too, but hey, it worked out. So that is going to be everything for today. I just wanted to show you some really cool things that I picked up on Chewy.com and maybe you can find a coupon code like it if you're in the market for that kind of stuff. In future vlogs, I should be able to show you what they think of the new haze, but that is going to be it for today. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button so you can make sure to come back next time. And as always, my name's Alex with Bunny Blog, and I'll see you later. Bye.